Friends, fans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Let's talk about a little thing known as Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. This is my Zard. It's and a sealed fossil pack from my friend JP, who is the purveyor of high-end eyewear here in town. I have some these and lots more like it to be revealed. Presenting to you our second unboxing of a large submission. I'm overly excited to share these with you. I see myself at times as a bit of a historian to preserve these memories. We are the tail end of the Blockbuster and Toys R Us generation. And for a whole new generation that didn't get to experience that like I did in my formative years, I want to provide some of that experience. Pretty solid. There's one order, and here's a second order. I ought to save some of the. Wait, which one? I'm gonna save one of these to unbox with my brother because five of his cards are in here. This is our second bulk order of Pokemon cards. There's 50 here that I'll probably unbox at my brother's because five of his cards are in there. And that'd be more exciting. I don't know, we may get through those. Um, it says TBS, to be slabbed. I mean, what, is, what does everyone think of Jay-Z buying CGC? They think that uh, it'll be run responsibly. I asked some of my friends, what does Jay-Z know about comic books? And at the same time, he did play a superhero in a music video. So, let's get right into these. There's a lot of really shinies in here. Ooh, check that out. Fresh slabs. Old Jay stepping up to the plate, buying the whole company. You see, is it just for the money or does he have a passion for the stories that created a legacy for so many of the movies is he in it to preserve these historical documents these memories and provide an experience for the future generations um, as long as they do quality work i i don't care who owns it as long as they continue to do quality work i don't care who owns it which is something we're working on here at Game & Trade, which is our quality control. You'll see a lot of new things coming up. We have the convention circuit to go meet our fans and to display some of these high-end items. And yeah, things are always changing. And as long as they're changing for the better, and we know that we are moving forward. Now, without further ado, I want to show you what some of these are. Keep in mind that, as I've said before, I'm gonna have to take some of these out a little bit at a time to even get in here. That this was before, A, I was still excited to get some of them slabbed. B, this is before um, I received a good, good response from our local gaming community to uh, bringing me nicer cards. So I'm going to start showing off some of these. We have a Groudon legendary Pokemon stamped 
from GameStop slash EB Games. Um, let's let's keep the GameStops going so that we have a place to go meet fellow gamers. And EB Games is no more. Denisar EX. Again, the slab got scratched. I'm I'm not liking that. I don't like that the slabs get kind of scratched up. That is a bulk order. I, I sent these in when uh, all the card shops in town were out of top loaders. It looks like it is in a sleeve. Hey, but yeah, our slab got kind of scratched there. I'm not liking that. Happy about this one. Charizard V, Champion's Path, 9.5. Happy about that one. That slab didn't get scratched. I'm gonna set that over here. Hand search MV. We'll go through some of these kind of quickly so that we can, I mean, I'll set the nicer one too. Groudon's kind of cool. Phalanx V from Rebel Clash. That is a really pretty card. Really shiny. 9.5. Lucario V. 9. And again, with I uh, sent in bulks because I was still happy to get back into it with Vivid Voltage. So I have a Hatterene Hologram here. A Galarian Mr. Mime Reverse Hollow at a 9. Well, the holographic water energies down here. No, these are not in sleeves. It just it just looked that way around the corners. I guess looking at it from the front, that must be how the squares look like. So, looking for a new format. Palkia Shining Legends, which is a great set, but this one I knew this one was in rough shape. I I just had gotten a collection of some more some cards that I thought were rarer. That I had not seen. So I sent those in. I suppose these are just crowd pleasers. The Vicavolt GX 8.5. Uh, now I like this one. I just like the artwork. Some of these I really like the artwork and I'm going to hang on to. The Chaos Tower. I got this from a couple of my friends that were helping me around the shop for a while. Stadium card. It's kind of neat. Enhanced Hammer Reverse Hollow from Guardians Rising. It's an 8. Uh, League Staff from Vivid Voltage. Now a lot of these, even the Reverse Hollows, I may try to build a whole set of the Vivid Voltage stuff. I like them representing the gem. Heroes Metal, another cool card. I have a gold one sent in, so the Reverse Hollow, the gold one will take its place. Uh, Tapu Koko. From the Black Star promos. You know, one of like his collection, the pen collection. So a lot of people like him. Uh Papa Lily would be a high one, but I let that one go a long time ago. The Raichu reverse hollow. Everyone likes Raichu. It's from Burning Legends, Burning Shadows. Rex Wing. And some of these are a little bit nicer. Full arts. Every everyone likes the full arts. Dreadnought V from Champion's Path. It's a nine, not bad. This one I really like. I wish it had gotten better, but again, this came out of a private collection. Team Skull Grunt at an eight. Everyone likes the, the full art trainers. They're pretty awesome. That's the street team right there. They're pretty bad. This is my guy, Mimic UGX. I like him. The, the fairy, fairy energy. All, all the love, all the love. We'll put him over here. This Raichu is pretty rad. Raichu GX. That's from Shining Legends. Again, a good set. Where, where's our other Shining Legends? I guess I put the the 3.5 Shining Legends to the side, but uh, our 8.5 Raichu is pretty rad. All right. After adjusting a bit. Without further ado, we shall continue. I like this one. Duskmane Necrozma GX. 
Very shiny and quite powerful metal energy there. We got a nine. Yeah. I'm happy about this one. Uh, I, w I mean, again, I wish it, you know, wish it were a 10, but still, uh, Umbreon GX. He's rad. It's Batman's Pokemon. Uh, if I had to choose a Pokemon, I, I don't know. That that would be my mimic, my my Pikachu probably, because he's a little bit twisted. And then Umbreon would probably be on my team big time. I like Umbreon a lot. He's he's cool. I'm gonna put him on top of here. All right, we got some Reverse Hollows from Evolutions. We got a Magikarp. One of the people say one of the most useless Pokemon, but still. It's a red shiny at a nine. And stack him on the stack over here. Right. I like this one. I like the full art cards that has uh, the trainer on the card with him, the Stoutland. This is the first of several of this style, even some from the GX All-Stars. So I really like that one and my slab's not scratched up. So I may hang on to that one for a while. I like the Stoutland. He's cool. He's an English setter, is that correct? All right, again from Evolutions, Reverse Hollow Zapdos. Now this is a rad card, 8.5, and I'm sure some of it's for centering here. Still, that's a pretty nice card. All right, what else we got here? To go with your legendary birds, we have a Ho Ho G Ho Ho GX from Mysterious Power Tens, and again, that's really shiny at an eight. Set him up, bird pile. Oh, and why did it get a five point five? No, centering is relatively terrible, but what? Oh yeah. There's, there's an indention on the back. I forgot. I think I was just excited to send in a really shiny card. Some of these, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, 5.5 on the Sylveon, but everyone likes Sylveon. So I'm gonna trade these out. Got a Sylveon and an Umbreon there. Those, those are good ones. That's a good, that's a good pair. That's a, that's your, what I would think of as your male and female aspect. Got our Kama uh, GX, not bad, from Guardians Rising. Stack him on our GX stack over here. Darkrai, Reverse Hollow, Burning Shadows. Darkrai. All right, Scolipede at an eight. Cracked Ice Hollow. That's Toxic Tricks theme deck. All right, and we got a reverse hollow meowth at an eight ancient origins. We get more of that set. Meowth, another crowd pleaser. Plusle, always thought these two were cute. Plusle and and whatever the minus one stain is. Reverse hollow, eight point five. These, no, I just did the energy cards because it's really shiny. That, that'll make someone happy that's really into the water gem. Uh, a Cerulean gem. Friendly, as it were. You got a nine, I mean. I really don't see anything wrong with the card. Maybe maybe where it's cut up here around the corners. But that's, that's a good one. Here we go, more water energy. That's from our Vivid Voltage set when we unboxed at a nine. Energy search, so all the Cerulean Gem, all the water energy. This one at a 9.5 is not bad. That's from Sword and Shield. All right, here we go. One of our Prism cards, Volcanion Prism. Now, I do see some indentions here toward the bottom. So, again, some of these came from a private collection. And sometimes where they come from is just as sentimental to me i know when it comes to money it's not supposed to be sentimental but where it comes from is just as important to me zygarde holographic champion's path 8.5 i 
And the top is not the greatest up here. There's some whitening on the back. Veltel Generations. Now all the gener I I hear Generations is a great set, so I'm actually surprised this one came in as high as it did because again there's an indention here. This came out of someone's like little uh, little flip binder, handheld flip binder. And if guys, if y'all are going to use those, I really do recommend you at least put them in penny sleeves first. Got an Evolutions Pikachu. That's about as stock as it gets. 8.5, but Pikachu's a good one. People like Pika. And happy about this one. Surfing Pikachu Evolutions. It's a great one. 8.5 could have been better they they gave the two pikas 8.5 we'll do better in the future this is a good one ultra beast ultra necrozma 8.5 that's from cosmic eclipse uh, that's not bad i just the centering's a little off the back looks fine you know maybe where they're cut here again we're dealing in that probably came out of a Dollar General pack, so an 8.5 eight is not so bad on that. The Blacephalon, I always thought he was cool. And this is actually some really rad artwork with the the explosions quite holographic with the stars coming off of our, our circus boy here. Cosmic Eclipse, Hollow, 8.5. Now this is a good one. Meganadel and Guzzlord, both Ultra Beast. That's a GX from Cosmic Eclipse. That's a nine. I'm sure this would have got a 10 if the centering had been a little better, but that's that's actually a really good card. And the shiny ain't so bad either. I'm gonna set that here. All right, here we go. Evolutions, nine tails, holographic. Now that's that's a good one. At a nine, that's not bad at all. Some of the Evolutions cards are very, very miscut. Uh, I think on the centering, this one's a little top heavy. Um, again, with the bulk order, I didn't opt for the subgrades. I think maybe some of where it's cut around the edge here, but still, that's that's a good one to have. That That's a goodie. I'm gonna set that in our fire deck. All right, here we go. Cracked Ice Royal Guard theme deck. Nito King at an eight. That's a, that's a good card. I see one little spot up top. But that's not, oh, and some whitening down here on bottom. Uh, not bad though. At an eight, Cracked Ice Hollow. Where can I set that? I'll put our Nito King down here by our Evolutions up to us. Pyroar from Flashfire. Now, some of these I had in a binder for a long time and went back through the binder and pulled some of the more choice, choicey ones. Uh, this one, the slab again, got kind of scuffed up. They don't, they don't, bulk orders, they don't put them in plastic. Maybe the tins, they put them in plastic. My, uh, my one tin they sent in a box all by itself. Reverse hollow. We got Latios and Latias from Latios half deck, Latios half deck. So those are both EX trainer kits, eight, seven, five. Still, it's a good, it's a good pair to have. Those, those go together. Those go together like bread and butter. All right, now we're getting into the. Some, some of the cooler stuff. We got Arceus, Mythical Pokemon Collection. Now that's that's a really cool artwork. That's really shiny for me, I like that one. Black Star promo, 8.5. Again, the grades could be a little better, but it is what it is. We got some nicer stuff to be revealed. All things will be eliminated. Taros GX at an eight. It's from Sun and Moon. Put that in our stack over here. Uh, I like this Arceus. That's cool. 
put that bad boy right here. All right, what else do I got? We're almost, is that it? That's it. All right, again, we have a whole nother box to get through. Action. So I'm here at my brother's at the Team Rocket headquarters and we're getting it. I'm here at the, I'm here at my brother's at the Team Rocket headquarters and we're gonna get into this second box. Ooh, wonder what's in there. Ready to ready to do this thing. So yeah. get right into it. There are fifty more graded cards in here. Fifty or a hundred? There there's fifty in there and then fifty in here. So a hundred in total for this shipment. Who graded them? CGC. We already CGC talked. graded. Yeah, we already talked about that. How do you feel about Jay Z buying CGC? Jay Z bought a yeah. car, car grading company. A comic grading company. Well, oh. the the I think it's certified guarantee. Look, guarantee. all of Istella's recycled packaging over there, and her art craft center. Yeah, we're doing a shout out to Istella for borrowing her mouse pad. And Ooh, la, la. They said these. Obviously, they took a little bit more care in these, I believe. Because the others were just in one long box. But I think the way it goes is, from what I've read, it goes from one grader to one grader sorts and files the cards and puts down what grades that, that you know, after, uh, what's the word? One person inventories them, and another person does the manual aspect. Well, well one, one person inventories them and then puts down what grade they think they'll be, and then sends them to another grader to verify, and then I believe it goes to a third. Um, it, if, if the two graders agree on the grades, then that's, that's what they are. If not, then there's a third grader that's essentially the tiebreaker. They have a third grader that works there? It's, that sounds like child labor laws. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put that in my video. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Couldn't help it. You um, said third grader. Oh. There we are. Well, this. There we are. 50 oh, more grading cards. Oh, some some, some yeah, fresh It's got a cool sheen on it. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna get into these, which. I have no idea which side is first. I want to go down the line. Okay, this one's first. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do it quickly for that camera and then I'm gonna take time on this camera. And okay. Quick. You ready? Yeah. I'm just gonna do this quick. It's gonna okay. be real shiny. Right. Real quick. Boom. Ooh, nine. Boom. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Charizard. Oh, I know that card. Dude, this is probably hey. your five now. I don't know. I think so, maybe. Hey, a nine. Sonia. Where's my Pokemon Center lady? I just was hoping she was a ten. Oh, yeah. I don't think that one was mine. That one was mine, I think. I, think I did your five all in a row. So I'm just going down the line real quick. All right, no. Nope, missed it. Hey. All right, we can uh, we can cut that one, and we'll sit down and just call them out to this one. Okay. We're just gonna splice Done. that in there. No, the, these with the what was this like the the cardboard things left a little bit of stuff on them last time, but we got our Mew and Mew Two GX. My brother and I pulled alternate minds from the Dollar General packs, and this was first pack magic for us. So we're really excited. Unified minds. Unified minds, what did I say? Ultimate minds or something like that? Well, they are ultimate minds. One. Mewtwo and Mew GX. Excellent card, got a nine. Got Mega Sableye and Tranitar GX. There he is back there with the rupees. All sneaky like got a nine on that one. 
Charizard V from Champion's Path. It's a 0.5 less than the one we did earlier. But still, so that's... We got two of those in our inventory now. There we are, Pikachu. But Pika and Ash. Yeah, that's, you got the Japanese version I saw on a different video. I so did. that'll be a cool like thing. I believe I sent that one to Beckett. We're talking nine plus months. And I as far as I can tell, there's no way to track your orders on Beckett. Like I, I can look it up and they'll show our Charizard, our shiny Charizard, but they won't show anything of my shipment that went in, so I'm getting kind of nervous. There's a Jirachi GX Alt Art 8.5. But really? we sent these in, even though a lot of them I sent in with no top loaders. I just put them in protectors with cardboard in between because they were out in town. We sent these in in top loaders, and I still feel they gave them rather low grades. There's a I should, like, start taking pictures of them before and after because I don't think I agree. the corner, like, there's some whitening on the corners. I don't think was there before. I agree. I put them in top layers. Yeah, I think the the, the grader was not having a good day that day, and he was like, "Oh, just forget this order." There's your Sonya Secret Rare, very shiny and textured. I'm getting a horrible reflection on the phone, but it's all good. Sonya Secret Rare, Rebel Clash. Want that card? Alcremie VMAX, Champion's Path. That's also a very shiny card. All the desserts. A, a friend of mine from the film set that I can't talk about. We love talking about desserts. So shout out to her. She knows who she is. Alcremie VMAX. And then, last but certainly not least, Professor's research. Yay. Yeah, you got a nine. Again, this reflection of the phone is horrible. I'm doing my best. My brother's fifth card. Yay. There you Thank are, you. Professor. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Not yet. Hey. Still gotta do my research before I become a professor. I know that's right. Toxapex GX. Got a nine. Guardians Rising. That's some pretty rad artwork, very shiny. I like that one. Lorantis GX from Sun and Moon. Uh, I like the way the eyes look. Check that out. When, yeah. when the light is right, the way the eyes look. Eyes, oh, yeah. There's an alt art of the card we did earlier. Naganadel and Guzzlord GX. That one's pretty rad. This is the Textured one. Got a nine on it. I'm pretty happy with that. That's good. Again, of course, everyone wants a ten. But if they handed out tens left and right, they wouldn't be rare. Elder Gosby, he's a happy boy. Graph Locked V. There are two different versions. This is the textured one, number 72 of 73. Champion's Path. Gardevoir V. There's a lot of V cards in here for for the fans. Essentially to let you guys know, there's there's our Alchemy V. He's got nothing on his Alchemy V Max over here. <laughs> but to let you guys know. Oh, I like this one. Alakazam V. Vivid Voltage. So yeah, honestly, there's there's some good ones in here that we're about to go through. But honestly, I don't remember pulling this one. Have you ever scanned a QR code on the back? I have not. I wonder, it may just take you to, because they do photograph them. I'm going to call them out, though, on their There's labels. Their like, some of their labels, like, are really nice, but other ones are, I don't Scoot know. Scoot this way a little. Like, can you see how it's... Kind of, it's curvy. Yeah, it's it's just messed up, like, well, control I mean, there. Especially, like, you know, if they're going to at least not give you... Tens. What you, like, what you're expecting, you know? Like, you're paying for a service, right? Yeah. And you already feel a little upset about it. Like, just their quality control. 
maybe their design engineering. Well, you know, right now they're they're under duress because there are so many people submitting their cards, so they're trying to get them done on time. Yeah, but they should have tons of capital rolling in. I agree. It just takes time to process quality. Olivia from Crimson Invasion. It's warped. Warped was the word I was looking for. Yeah, warped levels. Tertinator GX from Guardians Rising. He is pretty rad looking. Very crimson. you surprised that one's not from Crimson Invasion. Let me scan the professor's research and see what happens. There's a shiny rainbow looking one. Venomoth GX. 260 and 2.2. It does. Just hold it everywhere. Venomoth GX, Unbroken Bonds. Well, that's a good one. Okay. All right. That's cool. It takes you to the page. Yeah. Where and if you and scroll you up, it's got the photograph. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. That kind of hedges off counterfeiting, so. Alakazam EX. All, all the... But I will say, like, they could add, like, you know... What was wrong with it? Why it got that grade? You know, if you don't pay for subgrades, you don't get the service. Well, they don't well, allow you to do that with the bulk orders, yeah, right? With a bulk order. So that's kind of. Yeah. Crabat B. Well, at the at the time I was doing this, I was being very cost conscientious. Yeah. Crabat V. We've got a Crabat V Max that I'm waiting to get back. Look, these. This one's this one. Wait. These two are pretty rad together. I like these guys. Those are, those are good. Got a Genesect, Red Genesect collection. So, back into the normal hollows. As I was going to say, most of these, well not most of, but several of these, there's a Machamp first edition Base set, he's only a four, so hollows from the early stuff in good shape are going to be hard to come by. These came from private collections. What is, what are you using four for? There's probably some damage up here. And like again with the quality, like there's a flake, a metallic, it's not even, it's like a sprink, a sparkle on his head. Like I don't know if you can zoom in, but... I don't know. I got a feeling it didn't get shipped like that. You see it? You know, like, how are you going to put well, is it? That, is that something wrong with the card? Is that part no, of why they killed that, it off? That's, that's, well, I don't know, because they don't do the subgrade on the bulk order, but, you know, it's just like, if you're going to encase something and claim to be white glove, be white glove. All right, here's another Alakazam. This is from base set two, and he's hollow. Holographic. It's hard to get it in this light. He's shining boy. Out of five five. Not not great, but not horribly terrible. It's like a piece of glitter. Oh, what was I gonna say? So several of these will be gracing our eBay and our Mercari pages, and then others are for you, the fans, to meet us at our conventions. We got a Brock's Geo Dude first edition, non hollow. So come out and see us at our conventions. Pikachu implores you to come see us at our cons. We got another Confetti Hollow Pika from the Mickey D's collection 2018. This is one year later than the other video we did. And got a five because generally they're scuffed up from being in the packaging with the toys but still all right so we got a first edition grimer here team rocket at an eight not terrible i honestly have more first editions that i'll be looking into sending off probably in bulk that are in more desirable condition than these eights, but still, Zubat first edition eight. So that's that's a good couple of consecutives. Not bad. 
There's another first edition Team Rocket Voltorb at a seven. Honestly, some, I mean, maybe the corner there. Honestly, some of them, I'm not sure why it got a lower grade. All right, another first edition Team Rocket, Abra, and an 8.5. This is a fairly desirable card. He's cute. He looks like he's sleeping. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool. It's the first edition. It's got a little whitening on the back. Is that what it is? Yeah, and on the corners a little bit. Another first edition Team Rocket, Drowsy, 7.5. Could be better, but again, how these were stored. I mean, those are 25 years old. Those have been hanging out somewhere, not in case for, maybe in case for 25 years. Or in someone's binder, just flipped around. Yeah. All right, so here goes a cool card. Mr. Mime EX, Holographic. That's a cool card. I like the hologram going around the border. Could be a lot better than an eight. Just from looking through the viewfinder here. Maybe something, yeah, the corner and the bottom there. But this is a cool card. Yeah, that is cool. And then now back into the stuff that I just sent in because I was excited about them. Here we've got a reverse holo rosa. I got some Japanese holo rosa cards that are ready to go in. There's the male aspect equivalent, ends resolve. Both at a nine. Not bad. I don't see though, like how does this get an eight, but this got a seven? I agree. You know. Um, like, they know their job better than we do. I think that at the same time, what I've read is that it gets compared to the other ones that have also been graded. Uh, so yeah, I mean they um the, there's a population report, and so you know if versus if I sent, the other ones that they've graded. Yeah, you know, if I yeah. sent in a whole bunch not sleeved, and then somebody sent them in top letters, and they only got an eight, then they're gonna give me a seven. Yeah. All right, so another male and female aspect. These are these are punk, punky counterculture, gothy types. Got a Marnie hollow and a Piers reverse hollow. I can't wait to get the full art of those two back. And then these are some happy women here. Got a Sonya reverse hollow and a Pokemon Center lady hollow. Both at a nine. So we got four nines in a row. Ah, this is one Noah and I pulled from Sword and Shield. The gold one. Gold card, ordinary rod. This is a good one. It was pack fresh. Dang sure should have gotten better than a nine. I'm still very shiny. I'm happy about that one, though. Several of these will grace our eBay and Mercari pages. I got Mo one of those in my deck. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Most of them will be for you, the fans at our conventions, and then some, such as this one, and this one will likely go into the vault to be unearthed at a later time. Happy about that. Shout out to Noah. Hey, Noah. All right, so these... Maybe I'll show all three of these at one time. Right, so more evolutions magic. We got reverse hollow Mew here. He's all being cute and shy. And we've got from Hidden Fates. Why did this get a 4.5? Why in the world? Unless it's, like I said, based on the population report. Yeah, but still, there would have to be something significantly wrong. Uh, I'd see a couple of ripples down here at the bottom. Not the mine. <laughs> well, why did it get so damaged? This must have been put through hell. Like, it's something to do with the bottom, but I don't remember it. 
Yeah, that's what I'm top. saying. Like this, <laughs> this Ash Pikachu. It was like, I don't remember any whitening. I should have taken pictures before and after. But yeah, I do see some stuff at the bottom. Right here, back to the happy. Very shiny Mew over here. Mythical Pokemon collection. That's a happy boy. Could have been greater than an eight, but still very shiny. That's a happy boy. Check them two out. Happy with the Mew stuff. <laughs> Got our reverse hollow lily here. Can't wait to get the full arts back. Again, we're we're building up. We're giving you a few tasty morsels and we're building up to the better stuff. So I got these from my friend Ashley who helped design our new business card. These were some of her personal cards. Back when I started trading from my collection to her collection, right before the respike in popularity of the 25th. I like those. Those are from Ashley's collection. And then, so. Oh, that's a nice pair. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about these. This Alolan Ninetales could have gotten way better than a 7.5, but this also goes right right there in the family with those guys. Shiny Vulpix in the Lola Yeah, Ninetales. she like she took really good care of her stuff too. Right. right. Yeah. Those came from her binders, but they were very well preserved. Uh, yeah. Those I'm pretty happy about. I hear Stella in there cackling. Yeah. Alright, and last and certainly but not least, we've got a uh, Full art geared at, well, I think that's technically called a half art. From Ancient Origins, Gyarados Hollow. I can't tell if he's going to eat that fisherman or if that's his trainer. But there you go. I thought there was a full art Pokemon Center lady. Yours? What? Oh, wait. That's, that's in the last submission I just sent off. Remember, uh, you gave okay. it to me way later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because I have cards of Alex's that have to come back as yeah, this well. This was the first time I gave you cards. Right. That's all good. Gyarados. This looks pretty old. I mean, 2015. That's pretty old. It's just some of these, the artwork is really rad. Mm -hmm. So, happy about some of these. Some of them definitely could have been better. But... Stay tuned for future polls because we preserve them better, ship them better, and we have a lot more surprises when it comes to first edition and vintage stuff. Definitely better grades than the fives we've been getting. So I wonder what if you like saved one of their boxes and sent off to them in one of their boxes. Maybe but that still... was like something they're familiar with messing with, like less potential for damage. Uh, well, I stuff. sent I sent the. Uh... I'm gonna stop this. Thank you for tuning in to what brings me joy. You know, I one of my dreams since I was about 14 was to. Uh... I, I never believed that it was possible to own a card shop. And as you know, it's a labor of love. Sometimes it's it's not been easy. Um, struggle and perseverance, but stay steadfast in your resolve. Be creative, make it your own, and know that anything is possible. You can do anything you put your mind to. Thanks for tuning in. Go follow the social media and watch for future appearances. We'll be at the South Mississippi Toy Con the end of July, and we'll be at the Imaginarium in Atlanta in the first couple of weeks in August. Thank you for tuning in.